hello guys welcome back to our channel we are so excited to have you again ever since uh, femi fani kayode had a meeting with the governor of kogi steria yabelo and also the governor of yube who is incidentally the uh, chain national chairman of pdp for now talking about governor buni there had been multiple reactions from nigerians and people are wanting to know if a uh, Femi Fani Kayode, FFK is actually decamping to APC that he had over eight years now been castigating, not over eight years, over six years now, has been castigating them severally on the media, has been saying a lot of things against them. Is he actually decamping to um, P A A P C? Guess what? Uh, the governor whom he had a meeting with has come out to tell Nigeria he's on part of the story and what they actually discussed, what the agreements were. And also, Femi Fani Kayode has also come up to, to say something very different from what Kogi State Governor is saying. And advice is coming also all the way from presidency. You're going to hear all of this in a jiffy. According to the news, the governor of Kogi State, Yahya Belo, had confirmed the defection of the former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fani Kayode, to the All Progressive Congress. Mm. It was reported that Femi Fani Kayode had on Monday met with the National Chairman of the APC, Governor Mai Buni of Yube State, and Governor of Kogi State, Governor Yahya Bello. Pictures from the meeting has sparked the speculation that FFK, who is known to be a member of the main opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, was on the verge of defecting to the ruling APC, which he, he is an ardent critic of Buhari. The speculation has been confirmed to be true by Bello while addressing a crowd of APC supporters as seen in a video on social media. He said, our brother and friend, Chief Femi Fani Kayode, has joined our party in good faith. He's joining our party to add his own positive energy and make contribution into ensuring that APC is the party to beat. Remember that Chief Femi Fani Kayode was a foundation member of this great party. Due to misunderstanding, he decided to put elsewhere. Now he has decided to join our party, approach me, and by the mandate given to me by the party, I must not segregate or discriminate against any individual. It was reported yesterday that Femi Fani Kayode, in a statement issue, said he will never jettison his fundamental principle nor change his view despite his meeting with the APC leaders. He also said that he's holding talks with the leaders of other political parties aside from the ruling APC. The statement read partly, he said, it is right and proper for us to talk and to attempt to join hands across political, religious, and regional lines to serve Nigeria. I can and I will never compromise or jettison my core fundamental principle for any reason and I stand firmly on my honestly held opinion that we need to enthrone equity, justice and fairness in this country for it to be to survive. I also believe in restructuring the country and in a vigorous and effective fight against terrorism. The fact that I am in talks with leaders from cross-section of political party, including the ruling party, does not in any way derogate from this and does not mean that I will ever change those views. Those were the words of Femi Fani Kayode. And, but then, guess what? He had now come out live to debunk what uh, Governor Bello, the claims of Governor Bello. And according to the news, uh, FFK has seen the light and it is he is mandated to sensitize, mobilize, and educate Nigerians irrespective of their background. In his response to the claim that he has left People Democratic Party, PDP, uh, he said, Though we have had meetings across party lines and we are in a season of political consultation, I have not left PDP. That is what he had to tell Nigerians. But guess what? Another person from presidency is advising him not to make an attempt to join APC because of the things he has said before now. And that person who has said is actually the presidential assistant on the news media talking about Bashi Ahmed. Don't forget that yesterday Bashi Ahmed also uh, said that he doesn't want him in the party. He has spoken again and according to the news, Bashi Ahmed said, if I were him, 
I would never even think of joining the al Majiri People's Congress. But the he said, but the ex minister say he remains in the People Democratic Party. He said, though we have okay, I've already told you about that. But what he's saying is that um, he's trying to mimic what uh, FFK said. Some I think in 2019, precisely December period, FFK said something like that that he can never join the Almajiri People's Congress. Mm. But right now, based on how things are going, it's as if he's going to port very soon. Now, one of the things that is very consistent about uh, FFK is that uh, he does not, he seems not to be under the control or influence of anyone. For him, he seems not to also give in to whatever people will say because he always stands his ground irrespective of what anybody is saying. He doesn't just care. That's the truth of the matter about him. And one of the other thing I've noticed about him, he has his personal foundational principle, personal foundational principle, which irrespective of where he is he wants to stand by it he wants to meditate on it if he has to cause him to you know break into the enemy's camp he won't mind but for me i think this is not an attitude of a politician because if you meet a core politician they respect the tenets of their party they are in every party because they know that the interests of the party align with their personal interests that is just it for any politician. A politician does not talk against um, a particular opposition party and the next day he runs into the opposition party to rub minds with them. It doesn't happen. If you see anyone thinking of meeting with any other party members openly like he had done, know that there is an underground plan of migrating from his own party to the opposition party. But guess what? He's still maintaining his stand that, hey, for the fact that I met with this guy, I have not left PDP yet. Some people are even looking at the tone with which he wrote that uh, the, the issue of I'm not leaving PDP yet. If it was the original, um, uh, it was FFK with his original intention of never stepping his feet into APC, he would have lambasted the person of Governor, you know, Yahya Bello. He wouldn't even have care about how he feels, you know. He would have come, uh, he would have spoken his mind to Nigerians and let them understand that, hey, whatever you guys are hearing thus far, it's absolutely a lie. And he would have given so much name to APC. But this time around, he was very, quite unlike him, I tell you, quite unlike him. But we are still waiting. Politics is politics. And we know that a lot of things is going to unfold in the nearest future. We put our fingers crossed and wait. What do you think? Any hope? Do you think is going to migrate to PDP or sorry to APC sooner than we expect? Let's interact.